वन कामा टी वन बिलोंग्स टू आर मीन्स दैट इज नथिंग बट ये कामा ये बिलोंग्स टू आर दिस कंडीशन इज सेटिस्फाइड सो देर फोर आर इज रिफ्लेक्स यफ एन इज एन एक्सट्रो ऑपरेशन विच इज रिक्वाइड टू कंबाइन द सोल्यूशन ऑफ सब प्रॉब्लम्स into a solution of the original problem a comma a belongs to r implies a minus a is equal to 0 which is an even number so you can say that r is reflexive hello dear students welcome to this session of discrete mathematics revision class i am mr niranjan faculty department of computer science vidyashram first grade college the temple of excellence so in my previous class we have discussed regarding the problems based on relations and functions today in this session i will take few more problems based on relations and function move on to the first problem let me take the first problem show that the relation r defined in the set a of all triangles as r is equal to t1 comma t2 such that t1 is similar to t2 is an equivalence relation so this is very important problem so on a set or in a set of triangles show that t1 comma t2 that is t1 comma t2 means t1 is similar to t2 now what is to prove just to verify that r is an equivalence relation that means r is equivalence relation means verify all the three condition that is whether r is reflexive or is symmetric and or is transitive now let us verify first condition first one is reflexive property reflexive condition now what is the given condition the relation r is equal to t1 comma t2 such that t1 is similar to t2 now let us consider for all t1 belongs to the set a as we know that as we know that every triangle is similar to itself that means t1 is similar to t1 that is t1 comma t2 belongs to r therefore it is an reflexive relation that means as we know that every triangle every triangle is similar to similar to itself every triangle is similar to itself that is t1 comma t1 belongs to r implies t1 is related to t1 that means t1 is similar to t1 so therefore what do you say r is reflexive first condition is satisfied very simple every triangle is similar to itself therefore t1 comma t1 belongs to r means that is nothing but a comma a belongs to r this condition is satisfied so therefore r is reflexive now the second condition second one verify whether r is symmetric or not symmetric symmetric what is symmetric for all t1 comma t2 belongs to the set a so t1 comma t2 belongs to r implies t2 comma t1 also belongs to r now what is to verify the symmetric property for all t1 comma t2 belongs to the set a t1 comma t2 belongs to r implies t2 comma t1 also belongs to r that is triangle t1 is similar to similar to similar to triangle t2 implies triangle t2 is similar to triangle t1 that means that is a comma b belongs to r implies b comma a also belongs to r therefore r is symmetric that's it right so let us consider these two triangles this is first triangle triangle 1 and this is another triangle triangle 2 t2 so if t1 is similar to t2 if similar if t1 is similar to t2 means t2 is also similar to t1 so therefore symmetric property is satisfied and the third condition what is the third reflexive symmetric then it is transitive transitive relation what is transitive 
for all for all t1 t2 and t3 belongs to set a what is symmetric property t1 comma t2 belongs to r and t2 comma t3 belongs to r so t1 comma t2 belongs to r and t2 comma t3 belongs to r implies t1 comma t3 belongs to r that is that is that is t1 is similar to t2 and t2 is similar to t3 implies t1 is also similar to t3 t1 is similar to triangle t3 so t1 comma t2 belongs to r and t2 comma t3 belongs to r implies t1 comma t3 also belongs to r that is see here suppose if these are three triangles t1 t2 and t3 this is t1 t2 and t3 if t1 is similar to t2 and t2 is similar to t3 then t1 is also similar to t3 so therefore transitive property is satisfied therefore r is r is transitive r is transitive so all the three properties are satisfied reflexive property symmetric property and transitive property is satisfied therefore what is the conclusion therefore r is an equivalence relation equivalence relation that's also you can say that r is a equivalence relation that is on the set of triangles defined by r is equal to t1 comma t2 t1 is similar to t2 is an equivalence relation that's all similarly you may expect the problems related to congruent to triangles on the set of uh, triangles t1 is congruent to t2 verify whether it is an equivalence relation or not or similarly on the lines set of parallel lines or perpendicular lines so they are all uh, important type of problems in relations and functions now move on to the next problem similar type problem show that the relation r on the set a is equal to 1 2 3 4 5 given by the relation r is equal to a comma b such that mod of a minus b is even is an equivalence relation or not so what are the elements given a is equal to 1 2 3 4 5 show that r is equal to a comma b defined by modulus of a and b r is defined by r is equal to mod of a minus b is an equivalence relation or not okay same verify the property reflexive symmetric and uh, transitive all these three conditions are satisfied then it is called an equivalence relation okay now what is given so r is given by r is equal to a comma b such that r, a minus b mod is an even number now let us verify the reflexive property reflexive now r is reflexive r is reflexive r is reflexive because a comma a belongs to r implies mod of a minus a is equal to 0 yes a minus a is equal to 0 is an even number so a minus a is equal to 0 b minus b is equal to 0 similarly b minus b mod of b minus b is also equal to 0 which is an even so that means 1 comma 1 1 minus 1 1 minus 1 1 minus 1 under mod is equal to 0 similarly 2 minus 2 is equal to 0 so therefore a comma a belongs to r implies a minus a is equal to 0 which is an even number so you can say that r is reflexive r is reflexive okay now second one symmetric what is given r is equal to mod of a minus b now second symmetric symmetric for all a comma b belongs to the set capital a mod of a minus b is also equal to mod of b minus a say for example let us take a is equal to 1 and b is equal to 3 so mod of 1 minus 3 is also equal to mod of 3 minus 1 modulus of 1 minus 2 is minus 2 and 3 minus 1 is plus 2 model of minus 2 is plus 2 is equal to 2 
right so a modulus of a minus b is also equal to b minus a that is a comma b belongs to r implies b comma a also belongs to r so therefore what you see r is symmetric okay r is symmetric and the third one third one is a transitive property transitive so for all a comma b comma c belongs to a what is this a comma b belongs to r and b comma c belongs to r implies a comma c also belongs to r that is mod of a minus b belongs to r and modulus of b minus c belongs to r implies definitely a minus c mod also belongs to r so what is this equal to if a minus b is an even number b minus c is an even number means definitely a minus c is also an even number that is a minus b is an even number and b minus c is an also even number minus b plus c gets cancelled that is a minus c belongs to an r this is also an even number so therefore a minus b is an even and b minus c is even number implies a minus c is also an even number it's an even number so therefore r is transitive r is transitive r is transitive so therefore since r is reflexive symmetric and transitive what do you say r is an equivalence relation r is equivalence relation equivalence relation that's it okay this is how we are going to verify so you may expect this type of problems also right now move to the next concept let us know regarding division and conquer algorithm in sequence and series right division and conquer algorithms what is the meaning of this division and conquer algorithm means divide and conquer algorithm states that divide the problem into two smaller sub problems so divide the given problem into two smaller sub problems divide the problem into smaller sub problems and get the solution solving those sub problems solve those sub problems and combining the solutions for those smaller sub problems to solve the original problem so first divide the given problem into two smaller sub problems and solve it solve these two sub problems solving those sub problems and combining combining the solutions for those smaller sub problems to solve the original problem now for example binary search is a divide and conquer algorithm example for a divide and conquer algorithm is the best example is a binary search binary search is an example for a divide and a conquer algorithm so recurrence are, are used to analyze the computational complexity of divide and a conquer algorithm so that is recurrence are used to analyze the computational complexity of divide and conquer algorithms now next let us know regarding divide and conquer algorithm for a recurrence relation recurrence now assume a divide and conquer algorithm divides a problem of size n into two sub problems assume that the given problem is divided into two sub problems assume a divide and conquer algorithm divides a given problem of size n into two sub problems each sub problems each sub problems are assumed to be of size n by b n by b is the size of each sub problems assume f of n extra operations are required to combine the solutions of sub problems into a solution of the original problem so f of n fn is an extra operation which is required to combine the solution of sub problems into a solution of the original problem let t of n t of n be the number of operations required to solve the problem of size n suppose if t of n is the number of operations which are required to solve the sub problem of size n then t of n can be written as t of n is equal to a into t of n by b plus f of n what is t of n by b t of n by b is nothing but a sub problem of size n by b and whereas f of n is nothing but the extra operation required to to combine the solution of the sub problem so therefore t of n is equal to 
e of a into t of uh, n by b plus f of n. So, this is the formula to solve divide and conquer of a recurrence relation. So, in order to make the recurrence, we will define the term t of n by b will be actually either t of n by b or t of n by b. The recurrence will also have two initial conditions that is the initial conditions are t of 1 or t of 0. This is simple concept regarding a divide and conquer of a recurrence that is it ok. Hope you follow you may expect this type of question for uh, 5 marks also right. So, that is all regarding this uh, divide and uh, conquer recurrence hope you followed. So, usually you may expect uh, problems to find the solution for a recurrence relation or writing the number of terms in a recurrence relation regarding the concept write a note on a divide and conquer algorithm and the problems based on uh, properties of uh, relations that is reflexive, symmetric and uh, transitive. So, you may expect one full questions on relations and functions right. So, that is all regarding today's session. Let us meet with a different concept in the next section. Thank you. Thank you very much.